All right, it's uh, Monday, June the 29th. A letter came in the mail today from Pastor Hovind, who's effectively been in the hole since June the 8th with one brief uh, break, uh, and they immediately put him back in the hole again. So he's been in the hole nearly 21 days. Um, the letter was written on June the 25th, which is Thursday. I'm receiving it Monday. And um, I'm going to do the best I can. Sometimes the reading, the writing is a little hard to read. Um, <clears throat> but uh, here goes. It says, Hovind Update for All. June 25th, 2015. Well, that hurt. Frowny face. But it was worth it. Smiley face. I was only back at the camp for three days, smiley face, when they called me to the office again, frowny face. Friday morning, June the 18th, they sent me to the hole again while they are doing another investigation, frowny face. After being investigated for 10 days last time, they just sent me back and never told me for what? I was being investigated for. Now here I am again, frowny face. Same room, bed, and Bible, smiley face. That's a 1 in 270 chance, Fr uh, smiley face. It's not freezing now, smiley face, and I'm by myself, frowny face. John Cruz is by himself next door in 205. And by hollering through the AC ductwork, we can talk. Smiley face. The problem is, this little 8 inch by 8 inch vent is almost 8 feet off the floor. Frowny face. However, the little 18 inch by 14 inch stainless steel sink is almost underneath it. Under it. Smiley face. But, if I stand on the sink, I'm too tall and must either bend my knees or neck or both. Frowny face. At my age, 62, that, go, that gets old fast. Frowny face. If I put one foot in the little 10 inch by 12 inch oval sink, I'm about right to talk into the vent. Smiley face. But the curve in the foot <laughs> But the curve in the foot gets old fast. And I'm om I'm almost doing the splits. So my other foot <laughs> is on the top bunk for balance. Frowny face. Anyway, no S Leslie, smiley face. I stood in the sink and balanced for about forty minutes this morning and led John to Christ through the vent. Smiley face. For the idiots, morons, atheists, and scoffers who pick at everything I say, I am not saying John had to go through the vent <laughs> to get saved. Jeesh. John Cruz number 18561-380 is 30. He's from San Antonio, Texas, and has been in the hole here for 14 months. He gets no mail, frowny face. He gets no visits, frowny face, and has no one to put money on his account, frowny face. For commissary stuff, yet. He is the one who loaned me his last two stamps to mail updates this week. Smiley face. Alright, uh, where was I? He is the one who loaned me his last two stamps to mail updates this week. Smiley face. Carl was his celly and passed them over, but Carl is gone back to the compound now. John has four more years to go, frowny face. So in light of lots of scriptures on the topic of helping those in prison, and especially 
encouraging new believers to grow in the Lord, smiley face, I would like lots of you to, number one, pray for John. Number two, write him at least once and send, um, oh, tracks. I, I have a hard time. Write him at least once and send tracks, Bible studies, cards, etc. Number three, pray about putting money on his account in Iowa at least once. I know firsthand that $10 or $20 on the street isn't much, but it is a fortune to a guy in prison who has nothing. Smiley face. John may be moved. Okay, yes, yeah, I'm having a hard time again. John may be moved in a few months to a medium security prison, but he can always be found at BOP.gov or InmateLocator.com, I think. Anyway, I don't think it ever hurt. I don't think it ever hurt. What? It, it, uh, let me. Okay, anyway, I don't think it ever hurt before to make a new baby. Believe me, it was worth it. Oh, I know what it's. Okay. Yeah, okay, he's led, he's led him to Christ, he's made a new, okay. Anyway, I don't think it ever hurt before to make a new baby. But I don't think, okay, I'll, let me start over. This is a hard sentence to read, uh, it's kind of hard to read. Anyway, I don't think it ever hurt before to make a new baby believer, but it was worth it, smiley face. You should, you should win someone to Christ today. Nothing else you do today will matter in 100 million years. Smiley face. If you don't know how, frowny face, read my three book series that I wrote for my grandkids, starting with The Long Trip. They are on lulu.com. Actually, he puts they are on question mark with a line, but I, I, know, I happen to know they are on lulu.com, so I just said that. <laughs> As of now, Eric is picking me up at 8 a.m. July the 8th to go home. Exclamation smiley face. Everyone is invited to the party at my house on July the 11th. Smiley face. That is nine years to the day from when the first indict indictment was issued in this insane case. Frowny face. Over that stupid law. Frowny face. Oh well, God has used it, Philippians 1, 12 through 19 style, smiley face. See you at the finish line, or the party, exclamation point, Kent Hovind, oh, see continued, Hovind update continued, and then he has a whole other page here. 8 p.m. June the 25th, so I guess it was later on the day he added another page. Well... It hurt again, but it was worth it. Again, smiley face. Carl Heath, number 23452-045, was John's celly. Went back to the medium security prison yesterday. Got threatened and came back to the hole this afternoon. So I stood in the sink again, frowny face, and stretched my other leg to the bed again, frowny face. <laughs> And talked and talked through the tiny vent again, frowny face, for the last 30 to 40 minutes and led Carl to Jesus, exclamation, smiley face. The toes on my right foot are now permanent. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. I don't know why I'm laughing. The toes on my right foot are now permanently curled up, so I need one of those <laughs> elf shoes. <laughs> Oh, uh, until they go back down again, <laughs> smiley face. Anyway, please write to both men and encourage them to grow 1 Peter 2-2 style. On a different note, I know the Bible says fear not 365 times, and I'm trying, but I have this nagging feeling that th these investigations are a desperate attempt to find anything to bring some new charge. Keep me in the... F keep me in for another year and add more time. 
These folks do not like to lose, and that trial last month was an embarrassment to them, so I would not put it past them to try for any new charge. Any new charge. Please pr pray that God steps in with both feet and makes them let me go home and leave me alone. Nine years is enough. All right, that's uh, Pastor Hovind's latest letter. We have nine days to go. And uh, I do sincerely pray that the Lord God Almighty, whose name is Jesus Christ, sees fit to let Pastor Hovind go. Nine years is enough. And um, it breaks my heart. It makes me want to weep that this country has allowed this to happen to this man and, and mainstream Christianity and mainstream churches. Uh, we've done a terrible thing by turning our backs on this man. And uh, I pray that... Um, we start to make it right when he gets out. You know what I mean? He needs our encouragement. We have nine days to go. It wouldn't hurt for you to flood that prison with uh, letters to let him know uh, that you're looking forward to his release on July the 8th and that um, we still care about him and we love him. And when he gets out, if he so chooses, uh, he can pick up whatever ministry that the Lord leads him and... Uh, Maybe, maybe just one of those ministries will be a prison ministry. All right, that's it for today.